that there's something that you could be eating every single day that would minimize prostate symptoms, that would also make it so that you're likely not to have an enlarged prostate. But besides that, this one thing that you could be eating every single day that may be in your cabinet, may not be, but it is available at your local store, could not only improve overall health, could help you grow back hair, could also be healthy for every single person in your family, but besides that, it's anti Cancer forming too. So let's get into it. So since the end of the 19th century, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna tell you why it's such a powerful thing. And I'm gonna tell you what doses you can use and how you can integrate this into your everyday life. So ever since the end of the 19th century, this thing has been used to treat urinary tract problems. Not only that, but it's got antidepressive properties because it's also rich in tryptophan. It can help decrease sugar cravings and improve diabetic health and help prevent diabetes. Why? Because actually 100 grams of this serving of this thing can contain over 90 milligrams of magnesium. And studies actually suggest that for every 100 milligrams, a day that you increase your magnesium intake, the risk of developing type two diabetes decreases by approximately 15%. So this is like three quarter cup of this, right? And then it's hair growth stimulating, 400 milligrams a day of this oil every day for 24 weeks actually had 40% more hair growth than men in the placebo group during a study. And it's also shown to be great for women too. It can help with problems associated with menopause as well. And it's been used in traditional Chinese medicine to get rid of worms. It's protective of the, of, of the liver. So medicine and, and holistic practitioners have used this to boost detoxification and it's packed with antioxidants and it improves urinary symptoms. So this magic thing, it's not magic because it's available everywhere all over the place, also helps decrease the symptoms of overactive bladder. Yes, guess what it is? Now this is something that most households in, in the United States don't really get much of until October. This is, da 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 da, Pumpkin seeds and pumpkin seed oil extract. Now, let's kind of get into how something as simple as pumpkin seeds can do this. Now, pumpkins were, were kind of native to North America, right? So Native Americans cultivated pumpkins and the rest of the world came and stole them, right? And so now it's become kind of this worldwide phenomena that, that pumpkin seed oil extract is so powerful that most prostate supplements that you see have it in it. So let's talk about why. So one of the big things, if you go back to a previous video that I talked about the importance of zinc, pumpkin seeds and pumpkin seed oil are rich in zinc, but not only are they rich in zinc, but they're also rich in copper too. So those of you who are supplementing zinc and not getting enough copper can actually really throw things off. But if you're focusing on pumpkin seeds, a handful or two of pumpkin seeds a day, actually you're getting the zinc and the copper. And zinc is essential to the health of your prostate. Now, one thing to also keep in mind that we're dealing with when we're dealing with pumpkin seed oils is that, that Researchers have determined that over 100 grams of pumpkin seeds contains almost 8 milligrams of zinc. And, and the thing that we also keep in mind when we're talking about pumpkin seed oil is that the way we think it works is that, remember that 5-alpha reductase, right? 5-alpha reductase is that enzyme that can take good old-fashioned amazing testosterone and turn it into a more potent form of testosterone called DHT. Well, DHT is amazing and it helps grow muscles, but DHT can also cause hair loss, but on top of that, it can cause the prostate to swell. So one of the ways that science tends to think that pumpkin seeds help with prostate health is because it helps decrease DHT, right? And then the high content, high content of carotenoids. So there are so many antioxidants and essential fatty acids embedded into the pumpkin seed that the pumpkin seed oil helps bring all this stuff into fruition. Now I've just, I've just 
scrape the iceberg in terms of how potent and how powerful pumpkin seed oil can actually be. And then what we're going to do is talk about some ways that you can use and integrate pumpkin seed oil into your daily life. And of course, there's always supplements. So if you can't get pumpkin seeds and pumpkin seed oils into your diet, you can also supplement with supplements. Now, the other thing to think about is that when we're talking about pumpkin seed oil, we actually, studies have actually shown that it can help decrease the weight of the prostate by inhibiting prostate cell growth, right? And we talked about that in the last video, so make sure you check it out. So 10 grams of pumpkin seed extract a day can, has been shown to improve bladder tone and to actually decrease some of the symptoms. So now, for instance, say you saw the last video and you decided to integrate saw palmetto into your regimen. Saw palmetto plus pumpkin seed oil extract has been clinically shown to decrease urinary symptoms associated with prostate issues up to 30%. So those two work really well together and you'll see them combined a lot in a lot of over-the-counter supplements. Clinical trials with pumpkin seed extract. They've done everything from 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams to five grams a day. Um, and, and, and over time, they've looked at it at 12 weeks, 12 months, and so on and so forth. And th the data seems to be really clear. 12 weeks, 24 weeks, even 12 months. And what we see is anywhere between a 30% to a 40% decrease in prostate symptoms compared to placebo. So that's huge. And the best part is that 96% of the patients in these studies had negative side effects. Now, let's talk about side effects. I think side effects are important. When you're dealing with pumpkin seed oil and you're taking pumpkin seed oil in high doses like that, you can it can lead to some stomach upset a little bit of diarrhea, and maybe even some electrolyte imbalance. So of course, anything that you try in this realm, you should of course have this conversation with your doctor in advance because you know I'm, I'm just here to kind of give you the facts and the information. Now, what I will do though, is also share with you how many milligrams I tend to put patients on. But when it comes to blood thinner, if you're on blood thinner, this is not for you. Now, how do you teach? How do you choose? You know, you're going to see all these different brands when you Google it. You want to find a cold pressed oil because when the, the oil comes out and it's cold pressed, then you're, what's happening is some of the qualities of the pumpkin seed oil isn't denatured. So you want cold pressed. You want it to be virgin and you want it to be unprocessed. If you can find that, then technically speaking, that's probably going to be a better form of the pumpkin seed oil. You should also consider combining it with saw palmetto. Say so maybe you've, you've tried saw palmetto and maybe it irritates your bladder a little bit. These two work synergistically to help decrease the symptoms associated with prostate issues. Now, on top of all of this, I always get the question, how do I use it, doc? Well, one thing I don't want you to do, I don't want you to cook with it. It has a very low smoke point. So all, very, very much, as soon as you start heating it, you'll start to see smoke coming off. That's always a sign that that's not good cooking oil. So I don't want you to cook with pumpkin seed oil, but what you can do is use it as a salad drizzle. So instead of using olive oil, you can use pumpkin, pumpkin seed oil along with a little vinegar, a little salt, a little pepper, and use it as a garnish on your salad. Another thing you can do is you can, you can put it on your dish after you've completed it. Say maybe you've decided to have pasta, you can drizzle the pumpkin seed oil on as type of a garnish. Another thing that you can actually do is just eat pumpkin seeds. S slow roasted pumpkin seeds actually have pumpkin seed oil in it. So that is another way that you can use it. If you happen to have my e-function smoothie recipe book, you'll notice that I put a lot of pumpkin seeds in it. I say, go ahead and finish the smoothie with pumpkin seeds. This is why, because pumpkin seeds are so powerful. So if you haven't picked up my e-function smoothie recipe book, you will see the link down below, but let's talk about dosing. So maybe you don't like the taste of pumpkin seeds. You don't want to deal with it. You want to get straight to it. Well, the following doses have been researched and studied scientifically for benign prostatic hypertrophy or BPH. They've studied five grams of pumpkin seed 
oil, which is a lot. And then they've studied 160 milligrams of pumpkin seed oil divided three times a day in combination with saw palmetto and some other ingredients. So I usually ask that the pumpkin seed oil, if you're going to go straight with the oil, be divided into two to three doses a day so that it doesn't upset the stomach as much, right? So here we have once again, another product that is available at your corner store that you can start integrating into your daily lifestyle that you can start eating more or using it as a drizzle or even supplementing it that can improve the quality of and health of your prostate. All right. So like this video, share this video and let the world know that food is the original medicine and um, follow me for 